Hey everybody, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing another book haul for you guys. I acquired quite a few books in the month of September. I'm talking about 20 plus books. Um, I did not plan on buying most of these books in the month of September. However, my local library was having a book sale, so um, we picked up quite a few books from there and a couple others I bought with my own money. So, or they were given to me as gifts. So I acquired a lot more than I thought I was going to this month, but... I am excited to read all the books I acquired this month, and yeah, let's just jump right in. Um, I have, again, 20 plus books, and then a few other things that aren't really book related, but I'll put, talk about those at the end of the video. So yeah, let's just jump right in. So the first book I picked up was given to me by my best friend, and it was a book that was recently turned into a movie, and that book is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I've heard fantastic things about this trilogy, and... They said it's like a superheroes meet X-Men type of thing, and I, it sounds really interesting. I've, again, I've heard fantastic things about it. A lot of people seem to really love it, so I'm going to give it a read and see what I think. But the movie looks really good as well. The next book I'm going to be reading this month is it's actually on my TBR for this month, if you guys have seen my September wrap-up in my October TBR video. That book is The Murder Complex by Lindsay Cummings. Lindsay Cummings wrote recently wrote a book with Sasha over at a book utopia called Zenith, which will be published next fall, so congratulations to the both of them. And this was her debut novel, and it sounds really interesting because it is a dystopian, and in the society, the death rate is higher than the birth rate, which is fantastic. I think that's going to be really interesting to read about. And I absolutely love the cover. I like the colors of this book, and it's a sounds like a really cool debut novel, so we shall see what I think. The next book is one of the most anticipated releases of this year, and that book is Empire of Storms, book five in the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. I recently started reading uh, Throne of Glass last month in September, and I absolutely love it. I'm on the Assassin's Blade, the novellas, uh, right now, and I'm probably going to finish those actually today because they are so good. Um, and then there's Queen of Shadows and then Empire of Storms, so I will be reading this soon. I love the cover. It's gorgeous. Uh, this is the UK cover, so it doesn't match my edition of Throne of Glass, um, and it's beautiful. So yes, I picked that up. The next quite a few books are the ones I acquired at my library book sale, and I have, like, this is probably the biggest chunk of books that I acquired this month. So the first book I acquired this month from that library book sale was a hardcover edition of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince by J.K. Rowling, book six in the Harry Potter series, also my personal favorite. Unfortunately, it did not come with a dust jacket, but I loved it anyways, and I'm so happy to have a hardcover edition of this book. The next book I'm going to talk about is a classic, and that book is Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. This is part two of Alice in Wonderland, also by Lewis Carroll, obviously. And uh, I've been wanting to read more classics lately, and I wanted to read Alice, so it was like my first choice of classic. So my library did not have Alice in Wonderland at their book sale, but they did have Through the Looking Glass, so my mom picked it up for me. And yeah. The next book I'm going to talk about is one I've seen going around on BookTube quite a lot lately. I know Reagan over at uh, Peru's Project recently talked about this book, and she said she really liked it, and that book is Zenest by Cynthia Dupree Sweeney. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that r name wrong, but I, again, I've heard fantastic things about it. I'm not sure if it's a contemporary or what kind of book it is, but it sounds really cool, and I love the cover as well, so yes. The next book is not really a book book, but it's a book about writing books. That is the cr Everything Creative Writing uh, book by Carol Whiteley. And as you guys um, know, if you, or if you guys don't know, if you're new to my channel, I am currently writing my first novel, so this is really going to help. I got a couple of books that are creative writing books in this haul, so I, this is just one of them, but it's going to really help me out. The next one is another one that's really not related to books at all, but it's another thing I really like to do when I'm not reading, um, and that is The Complete Idiot's Guide to Crochet Projects. I've been crocheting for about a year, and this is by Marcy Smith, sorry. Um, I've been crocheting for about a year, and I absolutely love it. So this is, again, something that will definitely help me learn some more techniques. And yes. The next book is this one called How to Write Advice and Reflections from the Pulitzer Prize winning Richard Rhodes. So this is another creative writing book. This is more tips on how to write a novel. So yes, this sounds fantastic. 
The next few books, again, are classics, and the first one is Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. This is one of my mom's favorite classics, um, so she picked this up for me, and she thought I would really like it. I have read a Charles Dickens book before, so um, and I really did enjoy it, so hopefully I'll enjoy this as well. The next book is a bind-up of some books, and that is The Complete Science Fiction and Treasury of H.G. Wells. And this is the author who wrote um, one of the most famous books in the world, um, World of the Worlds, and that is in this little bind-up. I think there's five books or six books in this entire bind-up, so it sounds really interesting. I've heard fantastic things about World of the Worlds, so yes. The next book I'm going to talk about is From Whom the Bell Tolls by uh, Ernest Hemingway. My mom said I need to re read a Hemingway book because I have not yet read it, read one, excuse me, and uh, she picked this up, thought I would like it, so I'm going to give it a try. The next book I have is Emma by Jane Austen. My mom also really loves Jane Austen, and she, again, I've heard another, uh, a few other booktubers talk about um this book and it looks really cool and it sounds really cool so I'm definitely going to be picking this up. Hold on one second guys. <laughs> Alright, so the next books are two um, bind ups as well. So the first one is Treasure Island and Captain's Courageous and um, I can't remember the authors by for this one's but uh, so I apologize about that but I I one to read Treasure Island as well, and it sounds really cool, so I picked that up. And the other one my mom picked out for me because she loves these stories, and that is I Bind Up of Jane Eyre by Char um, Charlotte Bronte and then Withering Heights by Emily, Emily Bronte. I might have gotten those mixed up. I'm so sorry. Again, my mom loves these stories, and she recommended them to me, so she picked them up. I can't, I can't remember if I put this in my um, other haul, but I'm going to put this in put it in here anyways, and that next book is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling, Don Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. Um, this is a play script to the supposed 8th Harry Potter book, and no, I have not read it yet, but I do plan on reading it hopefully sometime this month. So, yes. And the next book I'm going to talk about is by an author I'm actually meeting tomorrow, October 8th, in Brookline, Massachusetts, and that author is Joey Graceffa, and this is his first novel in real life, My journey, journey into a Pixelated World, and this is his memoir or autobiography, and his new book, Children of Eden, just came out, I think, a couple days ago, and um, he's coming on his book tour to Boston tomorrow, or the Boston area, and I will be there meeting him, so I'm really excited, and I picked this up because I wanted to read it this, this month sometime, so yes. And the last book I'm going to talk about that I got this month is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Stephanie Meyer is obviously the author who wrote The Twilight Saga, which I read so long ago. Uh, I did read it, and I like the books better than the movies. And I've heard somewhat good things about The Host, and the, it sounds really interesting, so I'm going to be reading this hopefully soon. So those are all the books I picked up this month. Now I'm going to talk about the other book non Book related things I picked up as well. I have talked about these before on my channel, um, so I thought I would throw them in here. So the they are all Funkos, uh, Funko Pops, and then there's one called Adorbs, which I'll talk about last. So the first pop I acquired this month was this one, and it is Tom Brady from the New England Patriots. Obviously, uh, I've talked about before. I am from New England. I live in Massachusetts. So I picked those up when I was in Salem, Massachusetts, for a day trip with my aunt and my mom. And I love Tom Brady. Obviously, this is my hometown team, so I picked it up. The next one I acquired was this one, and it is Elsa from Frozen. I love Frozen. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, and I easily get Let It Go stuck in my head, but I love Elsa. Um, and this one is just so darn cute. I love the little snowflake. I think it's just a fantastic touch to this amazing pop. The next pop I acquired this month was from my friend, my best friend, and he gave me this Chewbacca from Star Wars one. It's also a bobblehead, and I have a Darth Vader one, which goes along with this, so I have that in my Funko Pop collection, which I'll link in the description box below for you guys to go check out. So she gave me this one because I love Chewbacca, and thank you to her for that. And the last thing I'm going to talk about in this video is this Funko Dorbs, and this is little Harley Quinn 
from Suicide Squad, which I recently saw Suicide Squad, and I absolutely love the movie. And I love Harley Quinn, so she, my friend, um, my best friend gave me this as well. So thank you to her once again. So that is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I'll have all my social media links linked in the description box below for you guys to go check out. I have Twitter, Instagram, and as well, Goodreads. And I also have my website linked in the description box below if you guys want to uh, read any more reviews I have not yet posted here on the channel. They are all posted on there for you guys to go check out. And I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I will see you on Monday. And yeah, so see you later, guys. Thank you for watching, and bye!